Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Callisto FX. Today, I'll show you how patience can make you money and why is it so important to be patient. You guys already know, but for those who are new here, I run Callisto FX and my team and I are multi-prop firm traders. We do live trading daily from Monday to Friday. So join us over there to see for yourselves if you are legitimate or not. So let's get this video started. Okay, looking at this GBP US dollar chart, right? So essentially, let me just show you the trade that we took through this week. Basically, was it on a Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday, I think it was a Thursday, yes. So during Thursday, or was this no? Sorry, it's a Tuesday, right? So this Tuesday, we essentially had a break of structure towards the upside. Now, why do I say patience is important, right? Patience is important because price has essentially moved up from here to here, right? This is about 120 pips, right? Obviously, you don't want to be continuing to buy at the, at the top of the range, right? If you buy at the top, at the top of the range, it, will go, it is going to be, right, a very unlikely probability that you will win because you're not buying any discount. You're only buying at a discount, which is at least the 50% of this leg over here. Right, so as long as price is above this 50 percent, right, I would not even consider placing a buy or even think about where I can enter to buy within this range. So then, so this area here is a no go zone. Now, obviously, right, I'm looking at the 50 minute time frame, and this 50 minute time frame is very, very, uh, it will take very long time for the charts to play out, lah, right? So what will happen here? So I wait and I wait and I wait. So currently, price is basically at around New York, New York session, right? I'm not looking to buy here. If anything, I want to see a retracement down here. So if some of you guys may ask, can I sell? Can you guys can sell? But you must wait for confirmation, right? Confirmation like a break of structure or a uh, shift in structure towards the downside on the low time frame, like say the five minute or the one minute. <clears throat> so personally for me, I just stay on the five, on the fifteen minutes because I am patient. Now let me show you how patient here is exercised and how you guys can do it too, right? To make money. Okay. Now very simple. As price is playing out, we can see that price started to form a break of structure towards the downside. Now with this in mind, I know for sure I'm not looking to continue to buy this pair. Right, and now what I'll do is I'll wait and wait and wait. As you see, price once it broke towards the downside, it retraced up into the other block. Right, if you wanted to sell, you could have sold from here to here. Right, from here to here, stop loss above here for maybe a 15 pip stop loss. Right, and target down at least this area over here, which would have netted you a good 3.59 risk to reward ratio. Now, here's what I didn't do. I didn't take this trade because why? I am patient. I'm not looking to counter trend. If you want to make serious money in trading, you want to be following the trend, right? The trend is your friend until it's not. So what do I do here? I wait. I wait until the next day, right? The next day, as you can see, we come into the 31st of uh, May, which is on Wednesday. Wednesday is midnight in Singapore time, right? So there's no volume. It's just basically, you know, your New York loud, right? Before the crossover to Asia. Now, as you can see, we produce, uh, we continue to melt, right? Continue to melt over here, right? And now we're crossing 12 o'clock in Singapore. And that is essentially where price is starting to move towards London volume session. Now, let's take a look at this, right? Price is already at this point, but are we at the 50%, right? The 50% is from here to here, right? This is your push towards the upside. 50% has just been tapped. But is there any valid, valid area of, um, you know, supply or demand here in this case? In this case here is demand. So there's no area of supply or demand or demand here that has been tapped. And this demand here has even been tapped, right? And this is potentially one area that we could buy from, right? But personally, what do I see? I see that there is still inefficiencies below this level over here that hasn't been filled. So what do I do? I know that this area here wouldn't be a high probability area. So what I'll do is I'll wait, right? So as you can see, price is tapping into this area. <clears throat> if price really wanted to move from here, it, honestly, it could, right? So what do I want to see? I want to see a strong break of uh, structure over here towards the upside with a body candle closure, right? So this has to happen, right? As you can see, price instantly melted below this area, right? So because of that, I am not looking to buy. So now with that being said, right? Let me just delete this box because it's invalid. Now, where's the next area that price could essentially look to continue to buy from, right? This area here hasn't been mitigated properly. Right? As you can see, price has inefficiencies plus there's no candles touching this area at all. So as price is coming down into this area, we want to be looking for a potential entry. So let's wait for this area here to tap first, right? So this area has been tapped and now we want to see a break of structure towards the upside. 
Now this bit of structure towards the upside here happens at this particular point in time, right, which is around you know 5:30, right, which is still during London session. Now and during this time, what I'm doing is I'm we're going to be placing a you know you can you can place a buy limit or you can place a market execution order once price comes back into this area at 1.23577. And where do, will I put my stop loss? I put my stop loss below this 50 minute low, right? This 50 minute order block here. Now. Stop loss or uh, essentially the take profit where I'll be targeting will be the st structural high which is around a one point uh, four point seven seven RR. Now let's see how this trade plays out, right? And will we even get tagged in, right? Personally I got tagged in and this is what happened. <coughs> You see price continues to pump, 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 pump all the way up to here. And over here at this point we are already up see you know 50 pips so at this point of time i really have sl to break even take up partials heavy partials right so that our a lot of our clients right obviously some of our, of our clients put our stop loss below this low over here and essentially they didn't get taken out right so what what did uh price proceed to do after that right price proceeded to continue to pump as you can see it's still pumping it's still pumping and we hit price over here now why do i say patience is very important right i say patience is very important because I waited for a total of how long? A total of from here to here, 20 hours for a trade. I didn't short the market because market was a pre presenting very nice price action. Right, I waited 20 hours, basically one whole day before I got a very nice entry on the 15 minutes and took 14 hours, right, from here all the way to here, 14 to 15 hours for this trade to run to take profit. So this goes to show that you don't have to trade every single day, but as long as you find one good setup that meets your confluence, right, you can just take one trade and let the trade run, even though it may take longer, right? And I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys here have some sort of difficulty not trading for one day because if you guys feel like you're missing out. But in in actuality, the market rewards people who are patient. And this is one example of how. And obviously, here are some screenshots of my clients taking this trade with us, right? And the screenshot of the signal as well over here, right? So this is basically how they made, you know, anywhere from 200 to 500 US dollars taking this signal with us, which ran a total of 82 pips right now. 82 pips or basically even 100 pips, right? If you include this area over here. Now, this is basically how I'm going to be ending the video. Right? I'm going to be ending the video with a recap of what went through in this video. The first thing is patience. You guys need patience in order for price to come to your setup. Don't change setups, right? And number two, right? Once you're in a trade, the trade may not run very nicely for the first maybe one, two, three, four, five hours, right? But as long as your trading idea is there, your stop loss is in place, let the trade play out. Don't panic close. Don't panic at the position. Let the trade idea play out accordingly, right? For, for me, in this case, it took me 14 hours right 14 hours to get this trade to profit to take profit essentially right so that's the most important lesson patience right and this will make you money make you more profitable and more consistent right so i'm going to be ending off the video here right if you like the content that i've produced and you want more of such similar content right give me a thumbs up in the uh down below right and on top of that right if you have any other content ideas that you guys want me to basically do for you right do leave it in the comment section down below else most importantly subscribe to our channel for more of such contents and live stream notifications right if not you can always join the link in our telegram bio right where we give one free signal a day all right if not that's all for the end of the video and i will end it here ciao